when a sniper and a spotter work together, it's like this beautiful ballet of violence. My name is Tim Kennedy, the US Army, 19th Special Forces Group. Snipers, probably more than anybody else I've seen, have this really intense focus to get the job done. My name is Terry Shepard. I'm a US Army Green Beret, and I was a sniper instructor. We can do anything. Almost the limit of our imagination is, guess what, the sniper's capabilities are. We're talking about, in a way, a combat scientist. Physics, biology, atmospherics, ballistics, and even human psychology. He's able to gather intelligence and see things that nobody else can see, because he can go where nobody else can go. Go down there. Oh man, talk to me, talk to me, what do you see? Something's not right. We train and deploy as teams. The guy behind him, the spotter, he's the ones finding the target. The spotter is gonna help measure distance. He's gonna be doing the calculations. He's the one calling the wind that will guarantee that that first shot's gonna be a kill. A lot of things come into play when you're taking a long shot. The weapon, the round, the scope. Am I in the exact, exact moment for me to break this round for I have the exact shot that I need to? How is my finger sitting on the trigger? Is it too deep? Is it too shallow? Is it perfectly um, dissecting just shy of the center of the fingerprint in the first knuckle? At a long distance, we're even talking about the rotation of the Earth. And you're just taking all of this information, all of this data, and you're gonna bring it all down to one movement is this. What's going to happen after that round hits is something that we have to think about. I don't care if you can shoot a thousand yard target. If you get caught, the mission is over. What's going to happen to you when that sound goes off and everybody starts looking for you?